now it has opened thorn.c and we can check here the thorn.c below <coughs> that it has configured for this Kodak and uh, below we can see uh, this is the sign table if we'll check here that there are 48 uh, particular values uh, if we are working with 48 kilohertz sample rate and we are giving 48 values per second that means we are producing uh, a sine wave with uh, uh, I think it's with 1 kilohertz sine wave because 48 samples per second and working a AIC of our Kodak is working with 48 kilohertz so we are producing 1 kilohertz sine wave and uh, this uh, particular sine wave will uh, listen to us for 5 seconds uh, so for that we will connect our uh, uh, the speakers here on the line out to listen the tone so now we have to go on the project <coughs> uh, or we can build the project here so it's building the project cdb <coughs> don't do cdb so we can check the code it's saying it's it's giving us some error that variable config has already been defined maybe this variable config is defined in the board spot library <coughs> so for removing this error what we can do is we can go below on this particular configuration and we can remove this configuration for now So we can remove this configuration and we can build the code again mm. uh, so we can stop build and we can build the code again click on build <coughs> so now our program is uh, compiled so we can see there is no error uh, so our next step is to burn the code for burning again click on file and click on load program select the dot out file and click on open so now go into debug 
select the tone dot out and open it so now your uh, out file will automatically bond into your DSK so our next step is to run your uh, DSK or we can press F5 for shortcuts so if you're pressing F5 we can see the tone here see there is a tone produced uh, it, it was a uh, 1 kilohertz tone uh, if, if we can uh, this was the tone example mm, you can uh, use uh, uh, this particular example for producing some another uh, sine waves like 2 kilohertz 4 kilohertz you can check it out and we now we'll close it and we'll check the enhanced uh, DMA example so for that you have to click on project and again click on open <coughs> and you have to go back and click on DSK app click on DSK app dot PJT so you have to uh, open it and you have to I think it will again show the error that the uh, config is already being defined so we can open AIC 23.c and we can remove that config uh, from this file <coughs> so we have to go below where we can find that config okay uh, I think there is no config here we can check that config in the dsk dot app dot c okay so here below here is the configuration for this uh, codec so we have to remove it and now we have to right click on the project and to build the project so now it's building the project it will take some time because mm, laptop is very slow okay now our uh, program is compiled and saying that there is no error so our next step is same we have to go on file and we have to load that program into the kit so we have to click on load program and we have to select that dot out dsk underscore dsp dot uh, we have to go into debug and we have to select that dsk underscore app dot out and we have to burn it it will automatically burn into your kit <coughs> so 
so now it's burning so it, it actually it's taking the data from the line in and it gives the data to line out so we have so we have to give some input to the line in for that we will connect our uh, this wire to the kit and to the laptop uh, and we'll give some songs to it we have to connect it here and to the laptop and we can play some songs so we have to just see now it's playing the song see just it's playing the song and uh, we can see here that the LEDs are blinking that it's showing, it's showing that the data is uh, it's receiving the data actually two LEDs are blinking uh, it's actually these are blinking at a high rate and uh, the camera is not able to listen it uh, just to say it see just is playing this song actually the songs are not directly playing actually these songs are playing through the uh, this DSP kit see if we are removing this DS DSP kit it will see so now the songs are not being played that means that the line in data is coming from here and uh, it's not going into the DSP uh, through the DMA direct memory assess uh, the data is coming from the line in and it's directly coming to the line out and we are listening into on the and we're listening it in here so uh, these were the uh, uh, quick uh, way to working with the DSP so in the next few lecture we'll make the new uh, new sample course and uh, uh, and we'll do some filtering and some other examples so thank you for that thank you